guys, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be building this. Because it's a pretty common build set. It's the most budget you can get with a 5 inch frame build. So yeah, I was gonna go fly like one or three packs, maybe five packs actually, at my local park. But seeing as it is a rainy day, it's not a day to be going out. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna toss this aside. So there you go. We're gonna toss that aside. We're gonna start the five inch build today. Uh, second five inch build actually. So in this video, we're gonna unveil which parts I'm gonna be using for the new five inch build and what parts are gonna be coming up. And let's just go fly. No, not fly. Let's go build. Okay, let's just tuck this little guy back in here. Perfect. And on to the build. All right. So you might be wondering, why do you need a second build? Well, let's just say the first build is getting kind of beat up. And yeah, it's, it's always nice to have a second backup in case the first one gets lost which I have many many occurrences that have happened with NASCAR and it got lost and then I need to fly to Protect to find it and yada 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 a few examples are here and here so with that in mind a second 5 inch in the bag is really really needed so that's what we're going to be building today now you might ask where are all the parts? I don't see any parts here. There's unless it's an imaginary five inch. Well, how about we change that? Okay. So we're just gonna count three, two, one, and snap our fingers, and and they should just magically appear, right? Let's try this. Three, two, one. God damn it! Didn't work that time. Now you try. Come on, follow me. Three, two. One. Whoa. Okay. Um. So everything just appeared. Thank you for helping me with this one. So this whole giant pile of parts and pieces are gonna turn into a drone. Um. See, if I already built it, I would have just presented it here. But I haven't built it yet, have I? So today we're gonna run down through the parts of what I'm gonna be using to make the second five inch. Uh, I really need to come up with a name for like the, the Nazgul, the Protec. I need to come up with a name for all of these so then it's easier to reference, you know? But anyways, we're going to call it the second 5 inch for now, which it is the second 5 inch. So we're going to get started. Um, so leading off, I guess I'll just go from the top of the pile. We got the Runcam Link Vista, which is like pretty much the only um, Vista unit you can get on the market nowadays that's like cheap but still readily available so we got the the run cam vista uh it's the same one that's on my nazgul right now the only difference is this one has a lens hood which is detachable i think hold on yeah this one's detachable so it's a, a detachable lens hood which is pretty good uh if you don't want the sun glare and stuff in your goggle feed so that's gonna be definitely a must i'm gonna keep this on here how do i put this back on Okay, there you go. It just snaps it. Perfect. So this is the Runcam Wasp Link. And essentially, it's what allows us to pair it to the goggles to see a video feed in order to yada, 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 to see where we're going. You know all this. Uh, if you're not, go reference my how to convert a Nazgul to, from analog to digital, and it will, it will explain all that. Okay, so we're just going to throw this back in the box. Next up, we got our flight controller and ESC. So this is the, I would, I want to call it the motherboard of all things for the drone. It controls how fast the motors are spinning, how much uh, voltage is supposed to be sucked out of the LiPo, which is a battery in this case. And it controls like uh, the controller's uh, communication systems and, and yada, yada, yada. So in this, um, so with this flight controller, I went for the budget option, of course. Budget is the best because budget is always friendly. So with this, we went with the Speedy B F405 V3 stack. 
and essentially it's it's a nice gold color nice black and gold and yellow color so there's that um, essentially all my drones pretty much have that kind of colors um, color palette yellow and black somehow so I'm just gonna keep rocking it um, so with this uh, there's a lot more pads here with what is provided on the Nazgul uh, flight board and well we're gonna go through every single pad and see what we need because I for sure don't know what every pad on this does and we're, we're just we're gonna figure it out that's the that's the that's the best thing about building is you get to figure out everything and you just know how it works in the end okay so we're just gonna box that back up next up on the board uh, we got our motors so with motors I went with of course four because it's a quadcopter right quad means four so I went with the Zing uh, E Pro 2205s I believe uh, no sorry sorry Zing E Pro 2207 2750 KB they're the exact the exact same motors that I have on the Nazgold which I just love so much because I you know I have a spare if, if one quad and one drone dies, I can just take the motor from here and, you know, transplant it in there. So that's why I went with the exact same motors so that I have some redundancy. Also, I heard that these are like pretty much the standard for every single uh, quadcopter nowadays uh, that are kind of home built. So that's why I went with these four. Um, so yeah, that's the motors. So we're just going to put them to the side. Now, the pile is really dwindling very rapidly so let's let's just let's just go through this right this is meant to be a quick video showcasing what i bought and what's going to be thrown in the drone and what will be the second five inch again really need a name so if you got a name for this build drop it in the in the comments below and i think i might pick one of your uh suggestions so let's just continue all right so what we have here in this little baggie is just some unused parts i have from the nazgul Mainly the battery strap, which is going to be really needed, and the battery pad. I think the battery pad comes in this one, but anyways, we have some unused parts from the Nazgul, which I'm going to be using on this drone, as they're kind of interchangeable, so why not, right? Why spend the money when you got the extra parts? So yeah, that's going to be that. We're going to put that aside. Uh, at the top of the pile, we got so we got some brand new props from Jamfan, and they're the Hurricane series of... Uh, Specifically the MCK 5146 whatever V2 editions. I don't know what it really means But either way, there's some brand new props. They're kind of different colored. I got a green version I got blue version. I got a pink version. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna be rocking pink props because pink is cool and uh, Of course a standard bright orange so and then comes the whole controller assembly so what I did was I have a um a ELRS chip from a previous drone that I kind of let's just say it's not with us today so uh, we have that for, I'm just gonna reuse this from the previous build of course I'm gonna need to source an antenna for this I think I'm just gonna pull it off the Protect because the Protect's not seeing any airtime lately and uh, it's just it has the antenna and the ELRS board uh, similar to this so I'm just gonna pull that off there and reuse it for this uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do for the controllers communications. Let's just reuse this. As for the Runcam Wasp, uh, I've used the stock antenna on the the Nazgul for a while now, and I really don't like the strength it provides. So I bought a uh, Rush Cherry, and it's supposed to. This is a lower profile one, but it's supposed to output a lot more strength. So hence. I hope I can go further with this without less uh, vision loss. So what this does, is it goes on the back of the the wasp and essentially it outputs more strength to the goggles antenna so that I can go further and the quality would be better. So hence uh, I got this special one so we're going to give it a try. This is my first time using a Rush Cherry so I I'm going to maybe do a little uh, review. Hashtag these are not sponsored. I bought these on myself. Of course, of course. Not big enough to get sponsored, but yeah. First time using this, so I'm gonna let you guys know how it is. Uh, versus the stock 
Vista Terrace. And last but not least, the finale. So what we have here is the TVS Source 1 V5. Yes, the V5 edition. As the name suggests, it's an open source uh, frame. So meaning anyone can add parts to it, redesign it. The schematics and everything are online. You can, you know, do some research with it or, of like vibrations and all that shit. Anyways, so uh, we got this uh, as a our frame because A, it was cheap. It was like $30 versus the frames nowadays that are like a little bit more nicer but still the same roughly still the same durability and stuff like that they're like in the 90 dollars 100 dollars and granted i'm just not willing to spend that much on a frame so we went on with the tbs source one um this is going to be a fun time putting it together because it comes in lots of little pieces and well this is not like your standard ikea build where there's like instructions on how to put stuff together. There's uh, step by step and stuff like that. Um, it's all like a giant jigsaw puzzle where you have to match the pieces here and there. The screws have to go in specifically with the right lengths and stuff like that. So I'm here gonna be building it on in the next video. I'm gonna be building this and you, you're just gonna get a step by step instruction on how to build a TVS Source 1 frame. All right, so that's, that's gonna be coming in the next video. So that's it. Uh, th those were all the parts that I will be using to build my second five inch. Again, name pending. So uh, we're gonna get names, we're gonna get names. So that is that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to be on the lookout for the next couple of videos as it's gonna be a step-by-step -step guide on how to build this exact frame, how to install the motors, the flight controllers, the ESCs, and all the electronics. Um, yeah, it's going to be a fun, fun time. I'm saying that now because I realize it's not going to be a fun time. It's going to be a treachering time for me, at least. Anyways, if you guys enjoy my misery, uh, click the like button below and you guys will be able to see all the, the videos that are coming out. I have a backlog of videos I just need to edit right now. And yeah, for sure, I'm just going to hunker down, edit them, get them out for you guys. Um, so uh, so if you're new here, my name is Jackie, as the channel name suggests. I post every Wednesday, uh, I, well, I try to post every Wednesday. Like, life gets in the way, you know, sometimes, but I try to post every Wednesday, uh, everything about FPV and sometimes photography, as that's my main background. But either way, I'm dragging this on. Thanks for watching. And anyways, on the screen now, you'll see a couple of videos of other FPV related content um, that I've made in the past year or so. Uh, feel free to watch it. If not, have a nice day and toodaloo.